Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More, Little League Baseball Championship Series. So in the last one, we got everything started up. We, uh, we chose our team, which we picked California, and we had our first round matchup against Puerto Rico. And uh, we won in a very tight pitcher's duel, 1-0, to zero, at the merits of our, actually, our starting pitcher, Sid Phillips, because I'm giving all of my players random names now. He had a towering, towering home run to, to right center, and that gave... That gave my team the uh, the permanent lead, and so now we get to see who we're playing next. So Mexico and Hawaii, they've got their game going on right now, and Hawaii, man, they battered them out pretty bad with two homers. Very good. Pennsylvania and Spain. Spain, wow. I didn't expect Spain to win that game. J ooh, Japan and Texas in the quarterfinal. I'm calling Japan. Oh, oh no. Wow, one hitter's apiece. Yikes. Let's see, New York and Korea. I'm going to pick New York in this one. And they did. They won another game 1-0. to zero. And now here we go. The quarterfinals. We're taking on one of our one of our United States rivals, Arizona. We'll see how this goes. Playing against uh, playing against your own your own country. But we got to get to the final somehow though. So we'll, we'll figure it out. I get to be the visitor again. Who's going to be my pitcher? Oh, it's Sid, again, of course. That's exactly what we want, though. All right. Good old Biff Tannen again. He's he's back from the future to uh, exact his revenge. All right. Buzz? Buzz. From Home Alone. <laughs> Who actually would be way too old to compete in this, because I'm pretty sure that Buzz McAllister is, like, in his 40s now. I'm just... I'm pretty sure. No, actually... I think he's like 37, but that's ridiculous, because, well, that's not really that ridiculous, now that you think about it. I mean, he was probably like 15 or 16 when Home Alone came out, and that was in like 1990. There you go. Ah. Uh, a very quick 1-2-3 first inning. That's not what we're looking for. I'm trying to get runs on the board here. Burt McCracken from The Used? Uh-oh. They're already connecting. Shit. It's not a very good way to start the game, Sid. Come on now. Elvis? Elvis! He's back from the dead! He's back from the dead to play some Little League Baseball. And he's gonna pop out instead. Alright, the Duke of Earl. Yeah, out of play. I want to make another diving catch really badly. I had quite a lot of awesome plays in the first game against Puerto Rico, let me tell you what. I'm gonna get it! God, some of my players run really slowly, my god. King Felix. Felix Hernandez. I wonder if he's their pitcher. I would imagine he probably is. If he's got skill 5, he better be their pitcher. Ooh. Alright, Sid. Gas face! Ooh. Maybe not. Give it again. There we go. Alright, we're gonna hit him with a changeup. I just hope he doesn't crank it out. Ooh, right on the corner. Ooh. I'm getting kind of weary about giving him a fastball right now. I think I might want to give him a slowy. Ooh, he gets him with the strikeout! On the, uh, on the screwball, because it's almost impossible to throw that pitch any other way. I don't think there's any kids in Little League Baseball that know how to throw a screwball, let's be honest. If they do, they should automatically be jumped up a couple of skill levels. Because there's not a lot of kids at that age that would be able to, you know, properly handle and read a screwball. There we go. There we go. That's going to the fence. Oh my god, Sid, you're so slow! Jesus! But he gets the double anyways, and that's, that's good. I'm gonna help you steal. There we go. Get to third, baby. Awesome. That's some more small ball right there. That's that's how they want you to play. There you go. That's gonna that's gonna drive one in. On top of being a double. There we go. Why did the left fielder just stop moving? He's like, oh, you got it. I mean, that's definitely how a lot of things happen in Little League. They're just like, oh, it's okay, you got it. I'm just not gonna move anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I can tell you one thing. We're definitely already having a much better time putting runs on the board than we did against Puerto Rico. We were, we were not having an easy go with that. Wow, that was a towering fly ball. My good lord. Alright. Randy Travis. Put one on the board for me, son. Ah. Man, that ca this catcher has a gun. My god. He almost threw that over his head because his arm... Wow, that was a, that was a terrible pitch to swing at. That's what happens when I start talking while I'm playing. There we go. Are you throwing pitch outs, Joel? There we go. Yeah, he's out. That's alright, though. We got a run on the board. That's how you're going to win games, my friend. Good old Mark Gasol. It's even spelled the same way. Oh, shit. That was a, that was a really nice hit. However, it's just going to be a very long single, so I'm not really worried about it. Ralph? Oh, I see. They're going to play it this way, huh? They're going to play it the same way I did. They're smart. They're smart. I can't think of a... I'm trying to think of a, of a... Of a name that I can make up for Ron, but I can't think of anything right now. Ooh, he gets the K. Ooh, it's Jolski. He may be a skill 3 pitcher, but he's a skill 5 hitter. But doesn't mean anything, because he's still grounded out. What the... You can't dive head first into first base. You'd be called out anyways. You can't dive head first ever in Little League Baseball. You can slide feet first, but you can't dive head first, I'm pretty sure. God damn it. I'm so bad at like not like at letting pitches go that are balls. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Just a little a little sneaker right through the right field line. Very good. Another hit for for Biff Tannen. I really hope that my guy wouldn't get thrown out at second from a ball that went to the outfield. When my brother played Little League Baseball, there were two kids on his team named Ruben and Cesar, and they were both, like, huge. I'm talking... They were probably pushing, like, three bills. This actually wasn't Little League. This was, uh... This was definitely uh, juniors. And they both were pushing probably 300 pounds. They would actually, like... They'd have their parents bring McDonald's to them uh, while they were playing in the dugout and they just sit there and eat it. And one of the, like, in one of the games, um, I think it was Ruben, um, he hit probably one of the longest balls I've seen. Like, he hit it all the way to the fence. God damn it. Ooh, hold on, hold on a second here. Sid Bream's up to bat. Let's see if he can get one out of here. Perfect! What a hit. That's exactly what we wanted. Go, baby, go. There you go. Another stand-up double for Sid. Because I think he's already had one of those. Um, but yeah, Ruben, he hit, like, it was, I ha I, I'd have to say it was probably a solid 300 feet. All the way to the fence. And he got thrown out at first base. I'm not even kidding. And it wasn't to right field. Like, I'm talking, it was to, like, left center field. And he got thrown out at first base. Because that's how slow he was. He was so fat that it took him that long to get to first base, and they threw him out by a solid step or two. There we go. Nice play. That's when you know that you got a couple of problems. I think I see another 1-2, one, 1-2-3 two, one, two, inning coming on here, because I'm pretty sure Elvis and his, and his bones are just not going to be able to get one out of the infield there. It's interesting that we have five hits and two runs. It's definitely not how I expected that to go. All right, Bill Dotrieve, give me a good, give me a homer right here. Let's uh, let's put this uh, put this out of reach for him. If you would swing at things that were strikes, that would be much preferred. There it is. Oh, that was right down the middle, and you hit a ground ball. My God, man. You gotta crank this shit. Uh-oh. Bud? They're bringing in Bud Dink. Mr. Dink from Doug. He's gonna pitch to me now. That's that's great. 
Oh, come on, Lee. What are you doing? Don't swing at that. It's so weird. Like, looking at left-handed pitcher's pitch is so weird looking to me. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure they probably think the same thing watching a right-handed pitcher throw, but it just... Everything looks totally weird for some reason. I don't know why. I've always thought that since I was a little kid. That's gonna be a bloop single. boy. Oh! Oh, damn it. I thought that was gonna get behind him and go all the way to the fence. That would have had potential for maybe a triple or an inside-the-park homer. Alright, here we go. Let me see if I can get him to steal second. Damn it. That would have been perfect. I might have been able to break up the double play that way. Nope. That's that's not going to work. Alright, Travis. Just don't, don't strike out, for God's sakes. And he does it. <laughs> Every time I tell him not to do it, that's when they end up doing it. Man, this, this kid. This kid. He's got some skill. Even though the number would not indicate that he does. He's just blowing these pitches right past me right now. This is, this is not good. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I have, I have a lead already, but... Oh my god. I have three Ks and I'm still winning two to nothing. That says plenty right there. Felix the Cat. Uh-oh. No, that's not going to be out. That's just going to be a routine pop fly. I know when I see him. I used to be, I, I mean, that was kind of my main position when I played Little League Baseball. I was definitely an outfielder. Then again, when I was in Little League, actually, I played just about every position. I was uh, I was an all-star first baseman. I was an all-star shortstop. I was an all-star center fielder twice. And I, I definitely, I pitched a lot, too. I, I definitely did a lot of pitching. That was back, you know... <coughs> <coughs> Back when I was 11, actually, I, I did a lot of pitching. Uh, I'd kind of, like, mix it up between... Pit wow! What a dive. I'm sure he probably got a nice concussion, though, sliding headfirst into the base. <laughs> That's all right, though. He got the job done. I gotta give him kudos. Um, but yeah, I, I used to... I had a pretty good advantage, because I had an awesome, awesome curveball when I was little, so... just I, I'd have kids that just... They'd just lock up at the knees and not be able to, you know, not be able to take those pitches. But I feel really bad, though, because when I was pitching uh, in one game, I threw a curveball that just, it came off the wrong way. Nice strikeout, Sid, my god. Um, I had a, I had a curveball that I was trying to pitch that it just totally came off the wrong way off my hand, and I threw it, and it just, it decked this kid right in the nose. Like, it, oh, it, and I, oh, I felt so bad, because he, uh, he just, like, got down on both knees and started just bawling his eyes out. I was like, oh my god, that's not good. And, you know, they ended up taking him, they, his parents ended up taking him to the hospital because they thought that I might have busted his nose, which I don't think that I did because, I mean, I only threw that pitch like 40 miles an hour, so. I don't, I highly doubt that actually happened, but he had, you know, his nose was bleeding everywhere and he had a big bruise on his face and all his jizz. So, you know, I was like, ah, my bad, but next time maybe you should move out of the way. <laughs> instead of just standing there and taking it. Alright, top of the sixth inning, everybody. Let's see if we can put another run or two on the board. Try to put it out of reach for these guys. I mean, I'm sure they're probably not going to score on me, so... I I'm yet to give up a run in this uh, in these World Series here. Man, Sid is just kicking ass right now. Oh my god, he almost got thrown out at first. He would have had his, his Ruben and Cesar moment there. I'm going to see if Tom Chambers can bunt him over to second. He might even be safe, too. Oh, no, he won't. He's fat and slow. <laughs> Never mind. It was worth a try, though. All right, Mr. Dotrieve. Drive Sid in. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to be a double. Mr. Dotrieve, when he's not cutting hair for the army, he's hitting triples. Get to third base, Bill! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like, uh... Looks like Arizona's going to be folding over like a lawn chair in this final inning, guys. Oh. Shit. I thought he was going to make it. Oh, well. That's all right, though. We already scored one run. That's that's going to be good for me, at least. Uh, excuse me. 
Now that I think about it, when I was in Little League, I actually only hit maybe, I think, two home runs ever. Of which, none of them actually went over the fence, because both of those games that we were playing uh, those days, they ha they didn't have the fence up. But, they I mean, they were, they it's not like they were like line drives that just like rolled all the way, just like forever. It was pretty much like the type where, if you would have hit that anywhere, it would have been a home run for sure. It just so happened that on one of the fields that I hit, it's like one of those where there's like a field and they're uh, like the field you're playing on, and then they have one right next to it, or you know, at the other end, pretty much. And I hit it far enough that like the pop fly probably went. I'm gonna say probably like 310, which would have just barely cleared the fence. I mean, it's not like I just totally drilled that thing, but it would have definitely cleared the fence at any other field, really. And then it rolled all the way. Um, I'll get the double play to end the game. Here we go. Yeah! A very, very close play. There it is, my friends. We have defeated Arizona 3 to nothing, With no home runs, but that's alright, though, because we had some very, very good production on offense in this game today. And we got the only double play of the series so far. But yeah, it was one that it, like, it rolled all the way to the backstop of the other field. And, uh... I mean, the, the kid, their right fielder was insanely fast, we'll put it that way. And, um, I was, I was coming around third, and I was running out of gas, man. I was just like, <gasps> <sighs> and I, I mean, I made it home, of course, uh, obviously, since it was a home run, but I only made it by maybe a couple of steps. I mean, if I would have, if I would have been any slower, I probably would have been thrown out and would have been really funny to watch. There we go. We have won this game. Which means that we are now going to be in the semifinals, I believe. So, this has been your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching. And when we come back next time, we're going to find out who our opponent is in the semifinal. So, uh, you guys take care, and I will see you later. Looks like Hawaii is going to be playing Spain in the quarterfinals. So, you guys take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.